Uh, so, the mic is hot. Are you feeling it today? I am. You feeling it? Yes. Really feeling it. I'm feeling myself. Oh, you f oh. Okay, then. Let's go. Here you go? Okay. Let's just start then. Uh, Boss Key Production shuts down. What did they make? I don't know. They made Radical Heights. Remember that from two weeks ago? Dead. It's already dead? It's dead. Jesus. What probably happened was their uh, publisher or the people they give the money were probably like, "Yeah, you're not making any money off this, so uh, I'm shutting you down. You're you're done. It's over." It's nice having you. Slow clap. So yeah, well, I mean that's unfortunate. Some people lost their jobs, but like, what were they expecting, really, with uh, that? Like. If that was, they were expecting to make some money. It was like their last ditch effort yeah. to be like, please, we just want some money, like a little bit, just a tiny bit. And they didn't even get that. No. So. Sure didn't. Um, let's see here. Well, there's not really anything else to say about that. Just. Well, they're gone. Yeah. And we so, saw it coming. Yeah. So, Dead on arrival. Yep. Uh, Xbox. Creates a new controller for the Xbox One. Yeah, for the it's, blind, um, right? No, not not only the blind. It's for any kind of handicap. Huh. It's basically just um, a kind of giant bottom part of a laptop with two really big buttons on it. Yeah. But it also has all kinds of plugs for different. Ah, that's really cool. Um, like hearing aids and um, other, I like I don't know what ha um handicap people use, because I, I don't have a handicap. But like, it's really cool that they're doing that. I was like, I, I, I saw that and I was like, <laughs> in before people start hating on Xbox, even if they do something like yeah, this. Like, <laughs> Xbox has been getting a lot of slack. Yeah, and, and no flack, not slack. Well, if uh, they got slack, then we'd be all like, eh, they got flack. Anyway, continue. Anyway, um, so, yeah, they... And, and now they're doing something that's actually nice. Yeah, so it's, 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 it's really cool. cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's not really anything else to say about that. So it's good just on cool. Xbox. Yeah. Good job, Xbox. I mean, they did one other cool thing that they're still doing. They're making like all of their old games available, like they're like most Xbox games, most Xbox 360 games. Could you like not wreck everything in I'm the room? Sorry. Jesus, I'm dying. you're creating unnecessary noise. I'm dying. Um, so yeah, they have like the best kind of backwards compatibility right now. Yeah. So they're doing that right. It's just they don't really have any exclusives to pull people in. Yeah. So that's... Uh, if they can fix that, then they're probably... And it's an uh, ugly console. And it's big. And uh, Well, I mean, the new... The one is better. Like, the the Xbox One X it's, looks... It's it's some it's somehow better and way smaller than that VCR they had. So the it's beginning. weird, then, that they didn't just wait... Like... Like, you don't develop the Xbox X in, like... No. I like, mean, like, they, they yeah. should have been, like, why, why is the difference that big? Is yeah. Why, it's like... Well, from what I understand, it's that Microsoft isn't really a hardware no, company. They're a software yeah, company. Yeah. So when you ask them to make an actual computer, it's, like, big and clunky. Because whatever yeah, well, it works. Sure, that, I know that. But then why can they do... All of a sudden, they can't... Well, because people were laughing at... Pointing and laughing at them. And they were like, oh, maybe we should hire like an, a hardware developer we to like maybe shrink this down. Because even it was that big and it also had the giant cord with the power brick. Yeah, that's not even... So like, console. yeah, if, it will be it really, even bigger. It really makes you appreciate... Um, the, the PlayStation... <laughs> Well, that and yeah. and the switch. Well, yeah, that it's too. It's like so yeah. small yeah. and so sk so skinny, and yeah. it's like so much power in there. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, it really makes you appreciate good hardware. Technology. Well, there's a it's big a, difference. Yeah. It's cool. Um. So let's see here. No Man's Sky. You remember that? I know. It's it's great. Yeah, it blew everyone away. Yeah. From the game. Um. It now. Get ready. Has co-op. It has it. What's, did, what's the next piece they, of They news? did it. <laughs> um, apparently, so... Um, oh, actually. Let me switch these around. Um, Valve yeah. is going to make games again. They are? Yeah. And they made, like, new corporate branding logos for, like... 
for their company, and they're actually going to start making games again. And is it going to be a card game? Uh, I don't know. But Game Newell, in an interview like a couple months ago, yeah. was like, man, I sure love those really good Nintendo games. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck, I want to make some games again. <laughs> I remember, uh, yeah, did he actually like say that? Yeah. He was like, oh, fuck, I love good video games. Really? <laughs> I'm going to make some good video games now. I love that. Because he, because he was probably just like, just wasn't, you know. Yeah, it wasn't happy. feeling he it. Wasn't or, really yeah. feeling it. He was just like, oh, I'm making money with Steam. Yeah. And it's going well. I'm yeah. rich. And he saw like, like, like the Odysseys and the Breath like, of the Wilds. Oh. And he was just like, oh, God. I remember when I did that. I was passionate oh, once. Oh, fuck. Yeah. So, I mean, that's cool. But. I'm looking forward to yeah. that. Yeah. No, no, obviously because they make really good games. They made some really. But I don't. Really... But because of that, I don't think they're gonna make sequels to like their old stuff. I think they're gonna make uh, more new. Uh... Really? Yeah, I don't think they're gonna make Left 4 Dead three now. No, not necessarily. But I'm... I mean, maybe at some point, but that's not Half Life three. Is that no, coming? Oh no, no, that's done. Really? Yeah, I think so. Why? The head, the head writer left. And then he put the script for Half Life Three on the internet, and he was like, "That's that's it." Mm. And then that ended on a cliffhanger for in Half Life Four, if they were gonna make that. So yeah. So yay, more Valve games. Yeah, that's sure. good. Yeah, they yeah. they were good. So you know what else is good? What Solo apparently. Really? Yeah. It's I I heard it was boring. boring. Yeah, the same thing. Boring. Which, that's not good. If a movie's bad, then you can laugh at it. If it's good, then great. If it's boring, yeah, like, ugh. But you heard it was good. Well, I mean, from the people that were at the premiere getting Han Solo-themed ice cream while they were watching the movie and Harrison Ford was next to them, like, sure, it's a good movie. You know, like, that as atmosphere kind of just invites yeah, people positive. to be positive. But then when you actually just go see it, it's like, oh... Maybe that's not as good as I thought it was. Is it out yet? Here? No, it's it's the twenty sixth, I think. Okay. So. Uh, well, we're seeing yeah. Deadpool tonight, so. That's true. Very true. We'll talk about that later. Um. So there now there are some Nintendo rumors, because people can't shut up because Nintendo never really talks about what they're doing. Um. Until like two weeks before they release the game. So the lead up to it is always like people just speculating about stuff. And one of the bigger things was like Retro Studios. The guys that made um, Metroid Prime and Donkey Kong Country. They haven't really released a game recently. Yeah. So people they're are just thinking. like, what the fuck are they doing? Apparently, they're making a Star Fox oh, yeah, I racing heard. game. Yeah. A space racing game. It's not like Nintendo has a different IP that could be a space racing game. I mean... Yeah? It's like... <laughs> nobody asked for this. First. No. If it's true, we don't... Yeah, nah, it's true, yeah. It is true. No, I mean, it's true that we didn't ask for it. Oh, yeah. Um, But where's my Captain Falcon? That's true. Well, you see... I mean, maybe... Because the thing with... with, with F Zero yeah. is that the only reason people know about it is because of Smash. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's the only so reason I know about not, it. Is there like, a, is there like interesting side characters in F Zero? No, I mean so they're, then, they're, they're so just then all they're different racers. Like, Star Fox is like a stronger IP. Yeah. So I mean, well, if you if Nintendo releases an F Zero racer, then sure, like like the subreddit will explode or something. Yeah, but. Not the world, but people well, no, know about the world, Fox. The world would explode. I think. Well, like, what's, what's interesting about this whole thing is that in F Zero, uh, F Zero GX for the GameCube, there's a playable character who's called James McCloud, who is Fox's dad, who disappeared in a black hole. Really? And then apparently just ended up yeah. there. Not only that, but one of the endings for Star Fox Command on the DS has Fox being all depressed because they fucked up their mission. And then Falco comes to him, you know what? Forget Star Fox. Let's become G-Zero racers. <laughs> and they become like 
they have their own F Zero kind of like anti gravity race uh, competition. Hell? Yeah, so maybe they're doing a crossover. Yeah, that's what. Well, people like this so was like maybe these universes are more connected. Yeah. Well, the thing was like two years ago there were rumors about a Star Fox and Metroid crossover. Really? Yeah. I can see that happening. Well, I don't because I don't see Samus hanging out with Falco. You know, I just can't. I, I don't know why that... Like, Captain Falcon and Falco and all those other animals, like, that could probably kind of work. Yeah. But, yeah, that's about it. Like, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I mean... I mean, if they end retro. up... I mean, if they end up doing it, then... It might be a fun racer. Yeah, but if they've been working on just a racing game for, like, I don't even know how long... What if it's not just a racing game? What if they're developing two games uh what if they can are can they develop two games I'm, i mean is, is retro studios big I, enough? I don't think they're big enough to make two games so yeah first earthquakes and now dogs what will the world think of next to stop us um uh, tsunamis well i mean that could be true actually so that yeah. Scary. No, yeah, it's definitely. Where, 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 where were we? Um, I think we were talking about the Star Fox racing game, and I don't know what part we were talking about. Oh yeah, two games. Oh yeah, can two, games? two games. I don't know. Can, can they? Can they? Yeah, I know, but like, I don't care anymore. If it's just the dog barking, I don't care. They don't know what she's saying. Could be anything. Maybe she's like, "I want Star Fox." Let me out of here. Give me. Give Captain... my canine friend. Yes. I, I want to. Well, I mean, when you think about it, um, Star Fox is a hot IP right now because, like, the last game they released sold 6 million copies. Wait, what? You remember the Super Nintendo Classic? They had Star Fox 2 on oh, it. Oh, yeah. Exclusively. Yeah. And that game alone sold 6 million copies. Yeah. Think about it. That's the only release of that game. <laughs> it's a big game. It's a big game. Um, but, yeah, I, like, I don't. Ah, I don't know. Like, Retro already isn't making Metroid Prime 4. And they're not making another Donkey Kong or whatever. Even though apparently they did work on the Switch port of Tropical Freeze, kind of. Probably just helped because yeah. they developed it. So they were That's like, true. They were like here's, pointers. here's the code. This, this is how it works. Let's fucking do it. Do it. Yeah, Star Fox Racing game. I, I mean, if that happens, sure, fine. If it's good, then fine. I'm sure Miyamoto's like, oh yeah, I fucking love that shit. Oh. Give me more Muppets in space. Um, so now, let's go to a little bit more of an interesting rumor. Because we've already talked about... The rumor that this. I believed in and you didn't. Yeah, I didn't. Well, look, I'm very skeptical. You can call me skeptical, Jake, if you like. Sure. Um, but like, you know, some leaks are true. And some are... Like, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Let's go Pikachu. Or let's, let's go, go Eevee. Eevee. Or let's go to the polls. That's it. That's the end of the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Best joke. Anyway, so, yeah, okay. I, I, I believe this more now that more information came out about it. But, like, when it was just the logo, I'm like, ah, you, you could make that. You know what made me believe this rumor? What? You know what made me believe? Yeah, what? <laughs> it's basically... It's it's kind of... It's it's super Pokemon. Like, it, it looked... it lo Okay, first off, it looked good. Yeah, no, that's I thought true. the logo looked but good. But so did those, like, leaked sure. starters. Yeah. F yeah. They looked really good. Yeah. Um, But so, at that po moment, I wasn't, like, turned off. Like, eh, it's not true. Yeah. Then I was thinking, like... So they're coming to the Switch. Mm-hmm. And it's their first like um, core RPG game on a, on a yeah. console, so I'm thinking they're gonna do something a little different. No, yeah, well, I mean different. Like they're going back to the first region that they. Yeah, that's different because they're doing because if if there's two games, one's Pikachu, one's Eevee. Yeah. That's different. But yeah. It's also same. Yeah, the same. But different. Now, but like, yeah. that's so Game Freak. Yeah. No, and I, I like it's such I, the it, more. It makes now I'm thinking about it, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, it's honestly, super safe. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, very safe. They want that Pokemon Go hype back. Like, yeah. 
That's probably why it's called Let's Go Pikachu. Yeah. Like, they can... Well, the rumor is also that you can, like, transfer your Pokemon from Pokemon Go to the new game using the Pokemon well, Bank. You, you'd have such strong Pokemon, then. Well, not no, not really, because you can't really level them up, right? Well, but you'd have, like, a lot of Pokemon. That's true, yeah. But like, you can't, like, do it the other way. You can't bring them from the game to Pokemon no, Go. Who would want that? Well, I'd finish my Pokedex real fucking quickly if that no, was the that, case. No, but it's like... Yeah. Clearing the Pokedex in the game would be such stroll in the park. Yeah, that, like... But, like, uh, there's also some other stuff about it that I don't really like. Like, they're also saying that the way catching Pokemon works is similar to Pokemon Go. So you gotta, like, where you, Yeah, where you spin the Pokeball and you throw it, like, with the touchscreen on the Switch. Yeah. And then you can use motion controls to fucking chuck your Joy-Con across the room. And <laughs> It'd be fine, yeah, but I guess, wait, wait, but can I, I just... I'd, I'd have... I, I'd like... That, but I also like to have the option to just turn it off and just press a button. Yeah, that's just what I'm. an option. Yeah, if it's an option. A little like fine. side rant. Yeah. Why not? Every time someone makes like a feature, and yeah, they, of course they like they they believe well, they, that feature is like the greatest thing ever. Yeah, but make it an option. Yeah, no, definitely. It's like well, even in uh, Pokemon Ultra Sun, there's like the the bit where you go through the wormhole. Yeah, and you have to control it with the yeah. fucking motion controls. You can just turn that off and use the stick. Yeah. So like the even they knew like oh, this is kind of fucking horrible. Yeah. But the, sometimes they're like, no, you are using this gimmick. Yeah. You are going to use it, whether like you like it, it or not. Um, and then, uh, do you remember when there was like a leaked screenshot of like a trainer sitting on a Lapras? Yeah. And it was kind of blurry? Yeah. Uh, people looked at that again, yeah. and they noticed that the trainer has an Eevee on their head. Oh, jeez. <laughs> like... You know, like, just like, oh, I'm, that's where I am. Like, having Pikachu on your shoulder or something. Oh, that's So that, amazing. I saw that, I was like, oh, God, is that actually, like, because that's such a weird detail. Like, Eevee. It's, spe- it's way too specific. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, because you would think. If you make a fake Pokemon League, you wouldn't put Eevee on your, on someone's head. No. And it makes sense because you're on the lap like, press. It like an Eevee hat? No, or it's, it's an Eevee because, shoulder. like, the back paws are on his shoulder okay. and then the top are on his head. Really? You yeah. Show me that. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll look it up while you fill the void with uh, some stuff. Um, so, yeah. I mean, which would you prefer, Eevee or Pikachu? I'm thinking well, it, everyone's going to want Eevee. Yeah, because you can pick whatever evolution you want, right? Or we're going to get... Or just... I mean, or even are we going to get, like, a lot of Pikachu evolutions? Well, there. You know what's also interesting? They were talking about. Pikachu. Yeah, like so maybe they're like, oh, you can. It's a split ev- split evolution now. You can turn Pikachu into Raichu or Gorochu. or Alolan Raichu with this Alolan. Yeah, rock. exactly. But that's also a thing Gorochu. that they're they're saying that there is. Um, yeah, look here. This is a screenshot. Look on his head. Oh, I mean, it's really blurry, but that's that's an Eevee. It is. Yeah. And, like, it also makes sense because they're saying, like, oh, the Pokemon are going to appear on the overworld. And you actually have to run into them. And if you look again, there's, like, a Magikarp over here and a Tentacle there. And a Gyarados. And there and a Gyarados. That's amazing. So that, like... That's cool. I'm not saying it's true, but... Let me look at that. (laughs) I mean, it looks too much like Sun and Moon to me, but there's also... It might have been, like, an early... Yeah, that's true, because they have shown, like, early stuff for the other games, and it doesn't really... Like, I feel like they could just use Sun and Moon as a base, and then they were like, well, what can we do? Yeah. But there's also, like, that Lapras model, for example, that looks pretty detailed to be, like, yeah, switch levels of... And having that many Pokemon models on the map, on the map that's also kind of... Heavy. So when you think about it, Could, when you line the pieces up, yeah, it kind of makes sense. Also, you gotta see because this is a blurry picture, but yeah. having this on your TV could look amazing. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like ah, blows my mind. But I mean, I'm not. A lot of people are like expecting like this super HD open world Breath of the Wild. Game. I don't know it's who was like, expecting that. Oh, people are crazy. Yeah, and people like, are. They're insane. But we're getting some interesting stuff, just yeah. in different, more subtle ways. Well, there's some other, like, rumors 
that I thought were interesting. Like, apparently they're going to introduce Kanto forms of other region Pokemon. Oh, that's cool. I like... I've, I've, I've said this before. I yeah, like the region it's, forms. It's a cool way of being like, here's a new Pokemon, but we didn't have to make a new name or like something, you know? Like, it just a different it makes form. Sense that, you know, in some different parts of the world, Pokemon are different. Yeah, no. Well, they even tried that. Like... Uh, Arbok had like a different pattern, yeah, and some of depending the, on yeah. the on the region it was in, and then they kind of stopped doing that because well, uh, well, we made one three D model and yeah. deal with it. Yeah. Um, but no, I think that'd be cool. And apparently, they're making some new evolutions for some older Pokemon, which I always like. Kind of yeah. just make some of the shitty ones like a little bit better. Um, yeah, but like. It, it, it makes more sense to me now that, like, all this new information came out than, like, when it was just the logo and people were going insane, like, yeah. oh, my God. And what's also interesting, if you look at, like, the way um, the Pikachu here is written. Yeah. Um, they have... So, this is another thing that's interesting. They're really pushing Eevee right now. Yeah, because like, I already said... They want people to like Eevee, yeah. and there's a lot of times when you have, like, the Pikachu mascot yeah. in the suit, and they have an Eevee with him. Now, at the time, that was like, oh, yeah, Eevee, because that's, like, a cute, cute Pokemon. Pokemon. People really like it because it has all the different evolutions. But now it's like, oh, yeah, well, if they're making an Eevee-themed Pokemon game... Also... Uh, I, I was just thinking... But what I was saying about the logo real quick was oh, yeah. that the current promotion for Eevee has that font. Okay. With, like, the brush kind of, like, paint. I'm thinking... Uh, yeah. This is pretty... This might be pretty. real. Also, uh, they... You see this? Yeah. This is a photo, right? Yeah. Or at least, like, a blurry kind of yeah, picture. Yeah. They found actual PNGs. And not only just for uh, this, like the Japanese logo, but also in English and in French. Mm -hmm. So like different languages, and they all always do that. Like Pokemon Sun and Moon uh, are called. I'm calling it right now. This is real. Yeah. This, is, this real. is probably real. Yeah. I'm still gonna say probably because like. I'm 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 willing to bet money on this. Well, also like really thinking about it, this is fine. Like if they oh, want to yeah, go back great. to Kanto, because like. People are like, oh, can't. People are acting like Kanto is like Green Hill Zone, and we've been there like a billion times in the last. Twice. Yeah, like or three. The times. last time we were there was Heart Gold, Gold and Soul, Soul Silver, Silver in yeah. the post game. And what? Yeah, in the post game, so it wasn't very detailed. No, and to and for them to and be. And Kanto can change. Yeah, they can add new stuff. Yeah, like we don't know. This is probably because the other rumor is that you don't play as like red or blue you play as a new kid and red and blue are already like way ahead of you way ahead of you or at least red already became the champion yeah. maybe he is the champion and then you beat him and that's why he goes to mount silver hmm. calling it now maybe maybe so yeah i think that'd be cool yeah. honestly like and and i like eevee also yeah. it'd be a good nod to uh pokemon coliseum and gala and uh well, xd because you know eevee was also yeah but also in the manga like blue had an eevee okay. that was like and also in pokemon yellow yellow <laughs> he uh you had the pikachu yeah. and then he had an eevee okay so and also gee, like there's so Maybe much get starters then I'm thinking, yeah. In yellow? In yellow you can. So well, you probably... get them, like, yeah, from yeah, the... Trainers. Yeah, I, I'm also now thinking they released um, an anniversary figure of, like, a red with a Pikachu yeah. and blue with an Eevee. Okay. So there's just so much <laughs> merchandise... This shit's real. That's just, like... And, and I, they I, registered the thing. Yeah, that's true. Like there was. But they could also do that to like throw people off. But I'm thinking they're doing it to. Well, the thing is, when I said, uh, I, I think I talked to you about like how they also registered like Pokemon Brown and like Pokemon yeah. Stars. They didn't do that on like an official copyright website. They just bought the domain. Yeah. And it leads to Pokemon.com. Yeah. Like they didn't go and be like, okay. And it's the same company that registered Sun and Moon yeah. when people were going like, are the next Pokemon games going to be Sun and Moon? And then the day later, like, the copyright got added because probably they were like, oh, shit, people know now yeah. 
we have to copyright this before someone else does, even though they can't really, but like... Also, um... Oh, jeez, I, I just... <laughs> I blacked out. Yeah, okay, oh, you you feeling all right? Yeah. Okay. But, no, I just forgot what I was going to say. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, thinking. Copyright. Fill the void. Uh, logos. Uh, PNGs. Different languages. What the hell were you thinking? Fill the void. Yeah, I'm thinking. trying here. I'm, I'm trying to help you remember. Remember me? No. You're not helping at no, all. No, I don't. Okay, I well. Need silence. Or just... You can't get silence. Just this is talk. A, this is an audio podcast okay. that's delivered oh. through the format of YouTube. Also, okay. it's way more detailed, this title, than like the Pokemon Browns and the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Pokemon yeah, yeah. Brown. This is like... This is... Yeah, this... Ma- to me, this makes perfect sense for a first Switch release. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I think the big thing that's throwing people off, it's like, well, why would they suddenly go Let's Go Pikachu? But like... I mean, they've been doing like... Because it's a different yeah. era, and it's a different... It's it's the first, so, you know, they can kind of change it up. Yeah, that's true. And eventually, you run out of colors and, like, opposing you know, this is, elements. This, this makes sense. This yeah. makes sense. To me, it does. Anyway. Yeah. And also, like, and I understand that because, like, this is the Switch, and a lot of new people that haven't played Pokemon in yeah. a long time have probably bought this thing. They were like, oh, well, if you just go back to Kanto... We can really, like, really pull at those nostalgia strings. Like, yeah. very oh, yeah. hard. That's what I'm thinking. So, uh, yeah. It's fine. I'm fine. You know what? If this is it, good. And another part of the Great. rumor is that apparently this is going to be announced officially in May. In May? Yeah. So, so before, before E3... Because they never release anything on E3, right? Pokemon Company. No, no. They don't release it. They show stuff... But they don't announce stuff yeah. at E3. They're not like, here's the first trailer. So, you, so wait, what's... It's a, a May 18th, today. So, between now and, like, two weeks, they should... And if the rumor is true, then they should be what? announcing something. Okay. Okay? That's interesting. Yeah. Because um, well, close. And then another thing is that might be true, because they always announce those directs, like, two days before they actually happen. Yeah. yeah. So, like, that'd be cool. Have a Pokemon Direct yeah. in front of E3. That that like that would really like well, I mean, throw a lot of people. Yeah, off. but a lot of companies are doing it. Like they already showed off the new Call of Duty. They mm-hmm. already they're going to show the new Battlefield like and you know why? Tuesday. Because they all feel like um, they can just take the spotlight away. Bef- yeah, bef- just real or, quick. Or, or like I'm I'm maybe um, Sony releases like something sick and my game will get buried. So yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, that's kind of the trend. Yeah. But I didn't know they released the, the n- new Call of Duty or, or showed it. They announced it. They announced it. So hey, that guess, also hey, means that... Hey, guess what? It's getting a Battle Royale mode. Nice. <laughs> but um, So I didn't know that, but I would have known if they showed it at E3. Yeah. So True. Might have not... Well, but I might have just missed it. Yeah, but if you saw Call of Duty, you were like, of course, because every year. Well, like, yeah, it sure. probably just like... Whoosh, so yeah, and I, I'm uh, I don't know if I like that that people are just like throwing their stuff out before E3, but like yeah, I want E3. most most like Nintendo doesn't even really care about E3 anymore. Yeah, like it's just like oh let's put the direct we planned for June at E3, at E3 because like it just kind of lines up with how we yeah. space out these directs, and then maybe they save some like really big stuff, but like they don't like have a s- stage performance. Yeah, but well, the thing, how big is E three? Is it? It uh, used to be really like small, then it got really big, and now it's kind of because well, because like before the internet, yeah, and like social media, and like all these companies had like their own like Twitter accounts. That was like the only way to relay information. Yeah, to go to this. Uh, press conference yeah. and then tell people but now they can just be like hey there's a Nintendo Direct in like two hours be, be ready there. yeah and, and then people are go- and then people go fucking insane because of course they do yeah but to me E3 still if if you, if a company has a good E3 it can really just yeah. skyrocket yeah no definitely but like uh, I think Sony is also doing a smaller E3 like they're only focusing on four games so that's The Last of Us 2. Yeah. Um, Detroit 
Become Human. Detroit. Yeah, yeah, you don't even remember that. Okay, that's good. Uh, Spider Man. Yeah. Which will probably be cool. And that. Um, what's that last one? It's the zombie one, but not Last of Us. The other zombie one. Oh, with like the hordes. Yeah. Like oh my the god. Swarming. What's it fucking called? I don't know. Days Gone? I think so. That's it. Yeah, I think it's Days Gone. But it's like this warming... They're, they're like so late in, yeah. this, in the zombie train. Yeah. I mean, I've seen... Like, they've showed some new stuff about Like, the horde physics look cool, but yeah, like... sure, but... I don't care about should've zombies. Used, should've used bees. Yeah. And also, the director doesn't like it when you compare it to The Last of Us. He's like, no, it's completely different, which... Fine. Sure, it is. But, but it's, it's also... a zombie game. Yeah. Like, it's still and people... The way it, and it kind of yeah. looked graphically. When I first saw that, I thought I they thought were making a spin-off little yeah. in-between thing. Like, The Last of Us Retribution. Survivor. Yeah, or something, you know? Yeah. Like, oh, I've got a cool motorcycle. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well. Anyway, back to Pokemon, I guess. Yeah, this is probably going to happen. Yeah. I'd be really surprised if, like... The Pokemon Direct happens as Pokemon it's, plus and minus. And it's like, it's, oh. <laughs> you can catch a plus or a minus. Yeah, and that's it. And you can level it up that's and the only Pokemon. it into Gorichu. Yeah. So that's cool. Uh, that's it for news. Um, let's talk about what we've been playing. Have you been playing anything? I've been playing. Oh, no. Are you not a true gamer? I've been playing this. Oh, no. Wait, no, I played some Jackbox. Okay. Still fun. Yeah. Uh -huh. Still great. Okay. Played some Mario Kart. Okay. Still fun. Still great. Still great. Awesome. Just, I played some party games. All right. And I like the Switch for party games. Yay! It's my Switch. party game hub. All right. I've been playing. Oh god, what have I been playing? I've been playing Splatoon two, and oh, and I also played Civilization five a little bit, but that's like really old. Yeah. So I haven't really been playing anything new. Um, well, no, that's not true, because we recorded this podcast a day late, so Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition came out today, and I've been kind of playing it already. Uh. And uh, yeah, it's Hyrule Warriors. Definitely is. It's still fun, but like, there's not really anything new. to say about it. All of the 3DS DLC is now in HD, so I can finally play it. That's good. Um, so let's talk about some new releases then for next week. Uh, State of Decay. What's that again? You know, that, that is the hot new Xbox exclusive. You are a survivor in a zombie apocalypse. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And you can craft. And you can build farms to make your camp grow and I mean, thrive. I've always wanted a game like that. Yeah, I, five I, years ago, yeah, I would have liked I, that game. I, I, I was... I, <laughs> But no one did it right. No. And I was like, I want Minecraft. Yeah. But with like good Not, graphics yeah. and stuff, you know. But it, fuck this shit right now. Yeah. I don't. You need remember it. that they devoted like fifteen minutes to it during the Xbox E3 thing, and we were just like, stop. Yeah. And and like they were having these really emotional moments with really shitty 3D models, like just. Yeah. Oh, I remember now. And yeah. then right after that, they showed like thirty seconds of Dragon Ball Fighters. And that was, was like, just like what? And then everyone forgot about State of the Game. Yeah, but apparently it's good. It's good. I don't really care though. Uh, so uh, yeah. First off, we don't have the newest Xbox. That's yeah. I mean, that's one. Uh, do you plan on buying it? No. Can Why would I? PC. Uh, not now, but probably in a couple of years when they are like... I might play yeah, it then. Yeah. But I'm not... It's it's just not... I don't feel like buying an Xbox. Like, there's nothing on there. Well, there's, what, what? There's two games on there that I want. What? And they're both collections of older games. Oh, it's the Rare Collection. I want the Rare Collection and the Master Chief Collection. That's it. Who are That's all I want. Xbox's mascots. It's just It's Master, Master Chief. Yeah, who's gone, right? They're not making any more Halo. Well, right? no, not now. Uh, Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War. He's the fuck no. <laughs> uh Banjo, I mean he's technically He's not. No, because they made like one game Wait, it was Xbox trash. Xbox has nothing. It's just 
like back in the day, I remember like people played just Call of Duty on their Xbox. Yeah, but now and Halo. Yeah, but like yeah, I like I just can't think of anything. No. And I know that's the joke. Like, oh, uh, Nintendo, uh, Super Smash Brothers, all these characters, uh, PlayStation All Stars, quite a lot of quite characters. a lot of characters, Xbox Super Party Fighters, Master Chief, like <laughs> versus the Gears of War, guys. versus the no versus the Arbiter, which is also from Halo, like <laughs> Halo Fighters, <laughs> Halo Fighters, and they all they actually kind of have their own Smash Brothers already because Killer Instinct has. Halo characters and Gears of War characters in it. Oh god! And also the oh, and they also have the Battle Toads in that. Oh jeez! The like they they bought all these old IPs and they're just not using them. And now we're going off the rails. We were talking about State of the K, but Xbox fix your shit. I I I mean. But they I, did make a nice controller. They 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 did make an accessible controller for everyone to use, and other companies are probably going to follow. Good on you. Good on you. Uh, next thing uh, for the Nintendo Switch, Little Nightmares. I don't know if you remember this. You play as like a tiny little girl in a raincoat, oh, yeah. and then those yeah. giant it grotesque people are yeah, like yeah. throwing yeah. their arms at you. Yeah. So that's coming out. That's already been out oh, you got on the, like PC. Yeah, yeah, with the pat in the ass, like the Pac-Man. Yeah, you can now get the Pac-Man movement, which I have. And then you can, instead of the raincoat, you have like a Pac-Man head. Yeah. That's, 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 that's I good. I, I don't think I'm going to buy it. Because, like, I don't... Yeah, I just don't really care about indie side scroller horror games yeah. that last for an hour. Yeah. And maybe this one will last longer than an hour. I don't know. I'm just saying. I I'm, I might buy it if it's, like, five bucks on, like, a sale or something. Anyway. Uh, also, yeah, High Rewards, but we already talked about it because I'm came out today. Uh, Deadpool 2 is coming out. We're gonna watch it. Yesterday. But we're gonna see it today. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's probably going to be great. I heard there's a lot of fourth wall uh, jokes in it. Yeah. So I um, just want to have some fun in this. Yeah. Game. I mean, Infinity War was pretty brutal, so. <laughs> yeah. They had, a, they had a pretty good marketing campaign with Deadpool. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Did, you, did you see the one where he was at, like, uh, Colbert? And then he, at the end of the episode, he starts fading away, like in oh, Infinity yeah. War. And he's like, this fucking shit. <laughs> you don't even have the budget to make this look cool. Yeah. That's what he said. It looks really shitty because it's like on a TV budget. Yeah. And then there's also like the David Beckham uh, yeah. thing and that's really funny. One with yeah, the, the, just their the, marketing. Did you also see the... I, I was surprised they're marketing soccer so much. Well, I think because a lot of people like soccer. So well, maybe... sure, but... Still in America, but there's a crazy Canadian, right? Yeah, that's true. But they I mean, like. I hockey. think he likes soccer. That might also be Ryan the case. Reynolds. Yeah. So I think Ryan Reynolds is football, like, hey, way. wouldn't be cool if, and then they just do it. But did you also see like the um, the DVD shelf with like Assassin's Creed, but then it was like two Deadpool's and. Um, they had the Terminator, but then it was Deadpool with like really <laughs> shitty sunglasses. Hold on, I'm gonna look this up because apparently you didn't see it. Uh, Deadpool 2 marketing DVD. I don't know how to look this up. Uh, yeah, like here. Like these are all like Fox properties, yeah, yeah. and they just put Deadpool like. That's funny. In it, so that's uh, that's a good. That's a good one. Look at <laughs> yes, super. I didn't even notice he had the super soaker. No, I don't get out of here. Deadpool is just fun. I'm yeah. really glad he he's he, he's gotten his own movies. Yeah, and it's just his own. He's got his own. Well, thing. I just like that Ryan Reynolds was like, "No, people are gonna like this," and Fox was like, "No," and then they accidentally leaked the test footage, and people were like, "Why aren't you making this movie?" Yeah. And they were like, "Okay, here's fifty million dollars. Yeah, f f that's not even a budget." And they're like, "Fucking figure it out," and then it made like. Half a billion. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> people do like this. We're dumb as shit. Yeah. We don't know what people want at all. Well, it's 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 like... They're just so out of touch with... Yeah, well, it's because, like, oh, we don't want to make R-rated movies because then kids can't see them. But if all the adults go... Yeah, Then like, you've got a lot of money. Yeah, and kids are also going... If people are noticing, like... Oh, well, they are noticing. Yeah. They're pretty strict Yeah, okay, nowadays. they're pretty strict nowadays. But, I mean, there's nothing stopping little Billy from, like, 
buying it on yeah, DVD. Sure. Or his mom being like, "Oh, you like the Deadpool? You like the Deadpool's? You like the superheroes?" Anyway. Yeah, we're gonna see that in like half an hour. Yeah. So we should probably wrap this up. Yeah. So anyway, thank you for listening to this um, abridged episode of the Mighty Podcast. We don't have, really have a lot of time today, so. Uh, Hope you enjoyed regardless. And hopefully next week we'll have some Pokemon info. If all goes to plan. Yes. So we'll see you guys later. See ya. Goodbye.